My name is Michael Harbin III, and this is Berea College Quick Hit. Join us as we recap the English Department and Creative Writing Department's Poetry Reading. On March 13th, Berea College was visited by the accomplished poet and essayist Dr. Lamar Wilson. Dr. Wilson recounts his 18 years of award-winning editing in many of the nation's top newsrooms. He went to connect this experience to how he would go about his poetry writing. Seeing this unique experience allowed him to create what he dubbed as docu-poetry. The beginning of Sacrilegion becoming a manuscript that had an arc. I was really struggling when I was at Virginia Tech finishing my MFA to figure out how to organize all these different poems that were really about how did I become a poet? How did I become a journalist? And how did I take my training in journalism and develop something that I call documentary poetics? Something that is pulling from actual events and trying to do something that centers a speaker who forces us to look at the mirror of ourselves. A speaker that isn't just about the speaker's journey, but about us culturally as a, as a people. The event began with the screening of a short documentary, The Changing Same that follows Dr. Wilson in his hometown of Mariana, Florida, orchestrating a daring run in protest of the buried horror of the lynching of Claude Neal. The documentary also features works from his Pushcart award-nominated poem, Resurrection Sunday. The night then continued with Dr. Wilson reading some of his poems, both new and old. Most notable was poems pulled from his 2012 book, Sacrilegion, which was a 2012 selection for the Carolina Wren Press Poetry Series an independent publisher's group bronze medalist, and a Tom Gunn Award finalist. Dr. Wilson states that his book is a collection of poems that his younger self used as means to reflect and reckon with a society that did not completely accept his race, religious beliefs, gender identity, and even physical handicap. The night ended with a Q&A portion, followed by a book signing. I asked for Dr. Wilson's insight for inspiring upcoming poets and writers and here's what he had to say. So I walk through the day poeting. I walk through the day with every person that I encounter trying to be an ambassador for love and empathy. I think that's what the great poets do. And so for you, if you're trying to be a poet as well, then walk through the world hearing language in the way that your voice can hear clearly what the source of love is telling you to articulate and put on the page. That is all we have on this story. We hope to have Dr. Wilson visit us again soon. I'm Michael Harmon III, reporting for BCM Weekly Report. Good night.